getting the word could not create the work file check the temp environment variable error here are seven ways you can fix it This is the Windows Club. This error generally happens due to incorrect registry entries. Here we have shown how you can fix it. Let's get started. Method 1. This error can be a result of system file corruption or disk errors on your PC. So, the first thing you should do to get rid of the error is to run an SFC scan and then check and repair disk errors. SFC or System File Checker is an inbuilt utility in Windows that allows users to scan and fix corrupted system files via command prompt. On the other hand, you can repair disk errors using another Windows built-in tool called Check Disk Utility. Type CMD in the search bar and open command prompt as an administrator. Type SFC forward slash scan now and press enter. Wait for it to finish and restart your PC. Next open command prompt as an administrator again and this time type check disk forward slash r forward slash f and press enter. After the command finishes running, restart your PC. Method 2 Another fix that you can try is adding a new environment variable. It has fixed the error for many affected users and might work for you as well. Firstly, open the settings app using Windows plus I hotkey and navigate to about. Now locate the related link section and click the advanced system settings option. In the new system properties window, make sure you are on the advanced tab. Next. Press the Environment Variables button. After that, under User Variables for Username, here username is your username. Now click on the New button. Then enter the following values in respective fields. Inside the Variable Name field, enter percent %User Profile percent. Inside the Variable Value field, enter C colon backslash users backslash username. Here type your username in place of username. Finally, select the OK button to create a new environment variable. Method 3. You can also try disabling the preview pane in File Explorer to fix the error. It's a kind of workaround and might work for you. To do that, you can open File Explorer using Win plus E hotkey and then click on the View drop-down option. Then go to the Show and select the Preview Pane option and make sure it is unchecked. Method 4. You can also try creating a temporary Internet Files folder to resolve the error. Firstly, open the Run dialog box using Win plus R hotkey and then enter C colon backslash users backslash username backslash app data backslash local backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash inet cache in the open box now in the opened location right click on the empty space and then select the new and then folder option to create a new folder next name the newly created folder as content.word after that reboot your pc and see if the error is fixed now. Method 5. In case you have not selected the correct temporary internet files location, you might experience this error in Word and other office applications. So make sure you have chosen the correct location and if not, you can try modifying the temporary internet files location from internet properties. Firstly, Open the Run dialog box using Win plus R and then enter inetcpl.cpl in it to launch the Internet Properties window. Now, in the General tab under the Browsing History section, tap on Settings which will open up the Website Data Settings window. In the New dialog window, make sure you are in the Temporary Internet Files tab. Here, 
you will see the current location for the folder. Simply click on the Move Folder button present at the bottom of the window. After that, inside the Browse for Folder window, go to the following path. C colon backslash users, backslash username, backslash app data, backslash local, backslash Microsoft, backslash Windows. Next, at the above location, you will see a folder named iNate Cache. Simply select it and press the OK button. Finally, close all the dialog windows and reboot your PC. On the next startup, you should not see the same error in Word or other Office apps. Method 6. Another thing you can do is register Word files. Open Run and type winword.exe forward slash r. In the above command, the forward slash r part forces a re-register of Word in Windows registry configuration and thus eventually fixes up the issue. Method 7. Another thing you can do is perform a registry tweak. We have shown how to do it in our blog, thewindowsclub.com. So visit it and learn how to perform it. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.